When the strike started, and it was the first ever national building workers dispute, and it wasn't entirely for pay. On, on September the 6th, when we got on the Bookside site, and that's when I joined the platform with Des Warren, we went to several sites. Police took us to the different sites. At the end of the day, Chief Superintendent Meredith, and he said, congratulations on the good day's picketing. Our Valentine was, knock on the door from West Mercia Police, and they arrested us. The charges came shortly after. Obviously, I pleaded not guilty to them. They broke it down into three trials. The first one was Warren and others versus the Crown, and then three went to jail. The second trial, three went to jail. The third trial was Renshaw and others versus the Crown. When I got to the court, my barrister sat in a room with a good friend of mine, and he pleaded with me again to plead guilty. You must plead guilty. If you don't plead guilty, you're going down for three with Des Warren. I can't. I said, it's not right. I said, I'm not guilty of anything. I was found guilty of the unlawful assembly. We were all given suspended sentences. The final trial ended with no, no prison sentences at all. Under the 30 year rule, we asked for the papers from the trial. We were told the papers are locked away. It would be a threat to the national security of the country for those papers to be released. On that third knock knockback, we were feeling a bit gutted. The campaign, we all agreed that we were going forward for the judicial review. We met with leaders of unions. And they all agreed that they would, if, if it came to it, that they would back us. We would travel around the country speaking about our campaign and the campaign for justice. People there were very responsive to us and we raised the money for the financial side to pay all our legal costs. As we were going out on the campaign trail, we, we would meet different people. So the Orgrave, Contaminated Blood, whatever it is, Hillsborough, we met them, we worked with them, we learned things from each other, and we support now the Orgrave campaign for that justice to come out, because that's long overdue. But Thatcher's government attacked the miners, and then they fabricated Evans. Hopefully, Orgrave will get the justice that they're asking for. The CCRC never turned up, so the only person to put forward evidence was uh, our barrister. And Justice Jay, I'm referring this for a full hearing. Well, that was the first thing we'd ever won. Our barrister. Going through all the stuff about the case and all, all the things that the CCRC have not done properly, they've, they've not looked at it right, and the barrister of the CCR so he gets to his feet and he said, My Lord, during the break, I've consulted with my client and we wish to withdraw the case so that we can reconsider our decision. And there's a gasp from everybody to which the judge said, At this time, I want them to come back with the right decision. And it still took the CCRC 10 months. They put it on their website. This has not been our finest hour. Uh, it's going back to the Court of Appeal. And also the two that withdrew from the case can now join back into the case for the appeal. And they will be given legal aid like everybody else. I'll never forget the day Eileen phoned me up. She phoned me up, she said, we won. We We'd taken on the police, we'd taken on the British Secret Service, MI5 were involved, we'd taken on the judiciary and the government, and we won. If you believe in it, 
you keep fighting. There's always a chance you'll win. Organise yourselves. Get the unions involved. Get other campaign groups involved. Work together. When I was speaking, going around to different events during the campaign itself, when we win, it will not be a win for 24 building workers from North Wales. It will be a win for the trade union movement. It was an attack on the trade union movement. And that victory was a victory for the trade union movement. And we've got to celebrate it. I grew up in the trade union movement from the age of 15. It's a family to me. To stay a retired member is, is to stay with that family that you've been in. Young people these days when they leave school, the employer that you go to work with, they will be a member of an organisation. If the employer is a member of, of an organisation, you should be a member of, a, of an organisation. So join the appropriate union, play an active role, take part in it. Because the more you take part, the more you'll enjoy it. Unless we've got that unity, we have nothing. And Unite is the name of our union, Unite.